good morning happy day welcome my dear freshers batch of 2021 2022 it's with great pride i welcome you all into the mop family yes you've all undergone a lot of stress and turmoil that you could not complete your 12th standard physically in your respective schools don't worry once the situation gets better we will see to it that you are given a warmer welcome into the mop family now i just want to tell you that your classes and other department activities will resume online for all of you after today's orientation and once the situation gets better and all of you are vaccinated we will have physical classes for each and every one of you mop has been a wonderful college and i am sure your seniors would vouch for that this year mop steps into its 30th year and that way you are a milestone batch you are going to be with mop when it enters its 30th year and there are a lot more programs a lot more activities that have been planned because this is a very special year in the life of mop vaishnav college at the outset as i welcome you into the mop family i want you to remember that you should consider yourself lucky that you got to be with mop in its 30th year out of the 20000 plus applications that we received about 1200 of you are here in mop's campus today of course virtually to think that you are among the lucky 20 among the competent 20 and among the excellent 20 for every 20 only one of you has got into mop vaishnav college therefore you can begin your journey at mop with a pat on your back do you know what mop stands for mop vaishnav college has the mission of going on to become a well reputed university that is mentioned in the vision statement of the college and from the vision statement we have culled out four mission goals which i want all of you to know from today onwards the first mission goal of the college is promoting academic excellence yes every one of you who has stepped into the college definitely needs to understand that mop stands for academic excellence and each and every one of you should put in your dedicated efforts to see to it that in your academics you are willing to want to and shall excel the second mission goal of the college is to make you all self reliant what does this mean self reliance yes self reliance means in addition to acquiring the domain knowledge and becoming academically excellent we expect each and every one of you to have the required skill sets that shall make you independent in thought word and deed and when you become self reliant the opportunities that you get to move out into the outside world are much more than it would have been otherwise the third mission goal of the college is to give adequate career opportunities what do career app opportunities mean ahead of college when you complete the specific program that you have chosen you will be eligible for higher studies you will be eligible to take up a gainful employment you will also be eligible to stand on your own feet as an entrepreneur mop gives you all of these possibilities through its third mission goal and you can choose depending upon where your strength lies as you progress to second year and third year you will be able to discover the right potential in you we have enough and more programs for that and once you attend these programs and courses you will be able to recognize whether you want to be employed whether you would like to choose higher studies as an option or whether you would like to become an entrepreneur and excel in that field and also give employment opportunities to other students the fourth mission goal of the college is a very important mission goal and that is to create 
socially responsible citizens. I think the education system is complete only when you leave the portals of the college, not just as a graduate with a degree, but as a socially responsible citizen. And what does this mean? Does it just mean being concerned about the society of which you are a part? Not at all. It means a lot more than that. Yes, we make you sensitive to the needs of the community of which you are a part. We also make you understand the by the various uh, procedures that we have in college of uh, using of LED lamps, of having separate bins to classify the waste and we also have you must be wondering MOP is a small campus where is this play, space there for greenery you will be surprised to see and I am sure even excited when you visit the campus to see the beautiful vertical gardens that we have put up especially for this incoming batch in the 30th year of MOP. So, socially responsible citizens means being aware of conserving energy, use of renewable energy as well as being sensitive to the needs of the community and society that is there around you of which you are a part. So, all these are the mission goals of the college and I expect each and every one of you to have a thorough understanding of these mission goals. Now, I want to tell you something about how MOP progresses and how MOP imparts holistic education. From the year 2018, MOP has been introducing outcome based education. What is outcome based education? You are the inputs into the education process and I must tell you that you are lucky as I am to have a dedicated and committed team of teachers who give in nothing but their very best to each and every one of you in each of the courses that they take. Therefore, that is the process where we have both online learning as well as in campus learning. We have so many innovative teaching methodologies which my teachers use to make you all enjoy the experience of learning. Now, in this outcome based education you will find that the program you have chosen has certain program specific outcomes which need to be achieved when you emerge as a graduate from this college. Similarly, each course that is part of the program has certain outcomes and at the end of doing or completing that course, you should have actually achieved that outcome. Every effort in the teaching, learning, evaluation process of the college is dedicated towards making you achieve that outcome. I am sure as your journey continues with the college, you would be able to understand, analyze and appreciate the way in which you are made to achieve these course outcomes and the program specific outcomes. We also have a lot of extracurricular activities at MOP Vaishnav College. Each department has its own club, it has its journal, it has a whole lot of things to make your stay at MOP extremely enjoyable. And what else can you do? Yes, we respect and appreciate the leadership quality in each and every one of you. We give you a chance to be a class monitor, a member of the student cabinet parliament of MOP Vaishnav College and if you are very good and you can exhibit your leadership skills up with aplomb, what you can become is a deputy minister or even a minister. Yes. And one or two of you can even become a deputy prime minister of the student cabinet, well and even the prime minister of the student cabinet. So, there are umpteen opportunities that shall come your way which shall hone your innate talent and make you blossom into a beautiful flower by the time you graduate and leave the portals of MOP Vaishnav College.
we also want to be having a good relationship with your parents and therefore we have something called the mom's club for MOP Vaishnav College where every mother of an MOP student can enroll herself and there are workshops for your mothers as there are innumerable workshops for you all to not only bring out your ex uh, extraordinary talent but also make you feel at home with the other members of the college. I wish you all a very pleasant three years stay or in case you are doing your post graduation a very pleasant two years stay at MOP Vaishnav College. We shall meet more often once you are part of the MOP Vaishnav College and start coming to college more regularly. As long as that is yet to happen, I wish you the very best to enjoy your online classes, the activities online and the various extracurricular and co-curricular activities as well. I also want to tell you that at MOP Vaishnav College, we are an autonomous body and therefore you have the controller of examinations office which will address all your queries relating to your internal assessment or your end semester examinations. I already mentioned to you about my excellent team of teachers. I am assisted by Vice Principal Dr. Uttra, Dean of Students Dr. Archana Prasad and Dean of Academics Dr. Sindhu. All my heads of departments and every teacher along with the physical director Dr. Amuda, the various librarians, controller of examinations Dr. Sumangala, my additional controller of examinations Dr. Priya and I also have an excellent team at the office headed by the administrative head Ms. Priya and the financial department is headed by Ms. Vijayalakshmi. You will get to meet each and every one of these people on your next visit to the campus. Till then, I wish you all the very best. Welcome all of you to MOP Vaishnav College. Thank you.